The 20th anniversary open days were held at the Homentin campus on 21st and 22nd March. Professor John Leung hit the gong to declare the official opening of the open days at the opening ceremony. About 1,200 visitors got to know more about the OUHK and its modes of education through an array of dedicated programs such as exhibitions, games, demonstrations, video shows, talks, performances, and campus tours. The university invited many world-renowned scholars and guest speakers to give public lectures and seminars. Through these activities, the OUHK was able to strengthen its communication with members of the public and enhance the culture of academic exchange at the OUHK. At the public lecture, Calculated Bets, Computer Gambling and Mathematical Modeling to Win, organized by the School of Science and Technology, Professor Stephen Skiena from the State University of New York at Stony Brook introduced a system that has been developed using computer simulations and mathematical modeling techniques to predict the outcome of high ally matches and to bet on them successfully. Mathematical modeling is a very powerful um, technique that a lot of people don't understand very well. And I think this is a way we might be able to explain better how mathematical models really work and build. The School of Education and Languages invited psychiatrist Dr. Chung Fan Kwong to give a talk on parent education entitled Positive Parenting, offering tips on how to establish good relationships by developing the habit of sharing personal emotions between parents and children. Dr. Chung used real-life examples to illustrate the importance of humor in family relationships, how reward and positive reinforcement are useful for effective parenting, and how parents can manage their emotions and help children to think positively. What distinguishes a quality mathematics teacher from others? The School of Education and Languages invited Professor Siu Man Keung, Honorary Professor of the Mathematics Department of the University of Hong Kong, to give a talk to answer the question. Professor Siu used vivid school classroom examples to illustrate how to be a good mathematics teacher. The School of Science and Technology invited Professor Paul Yu of the University of California, San Diego to give a talk on wafer bonding, a set of semiconductor techniques that can be used for the production of devices such as cell phones, Wi-Fi tools, and optical communication systems, which have become smaller, faster, and increasingly high-powered. Three generic types of bonding used in heterogeneous integration, namely direct bonding, insulator bonding, and metal bonding, were described together with their advantages and limitations. This work was done before silicon RFIC became a fashion. And I would say that these days, they're also competing, say that forget about compact semiconductors. All right, just work with silicon. Right. So we thought maybe we would not need this technology. Turns out it's not true. <laughs> Turns out that this one could be, instead of gallium arsenide, it could be silicon germanium. And these days, could be gallium nitride. A forum titled, Hong Kong in the Global Financial Crisis, Human Resources Implications for the Financial Industry, was jointly organized by the Li Shao Key School of Business and Administration and the Advisory Committee of Human Resources Development in the Financial Services Sector, or the FinMen Committee. The forum was a good chance for students to gain valuable advice from industry leaders and eminent scholars. In his keynote speech, Secretary for Financial Services and the Treasury, Professor Casey Chen, 
said the financial services would continue to be an important pillar of Hong Kong's economic development and perform an indispensable role in the modern economy despite the temporary setback brought about by the financial tsunami. The forum was chaired by Mr. Ignatius Chan. Panelists included Mr. Chris Chan, Professor Stephen Cheung, Mr. David Loy, Mr. Alvin Mack, and Mr. Andrew Choi. Let's, you know, get into a bit of more, more of the meat, you know, of the issue. How, you know, have all these changes, Andrew, uh, affected the employment picture, you know, for the sector? In particular, in particular, I, I, I like you to point out the uh, change in demand, you know, for different types of jobs, uh, pay scale, remuneration standard. Recently and internationally, there has been an increasing interest in student learning outcomes. The University Grants Committee believes that its funded institutions should be encouraged to consider adopting outcome-based approaches to judge whether the processes and deployment of resources are effective in enabling students to achieve the intended student learning outcomes. The School of Education and Languages invited three academics in a talk to discuss the concept of outcome-based learning and how it can be applied in various programs. We uh, formulated a model for ourselves, which we think that there are four essential elements in an outcome-based approach to student learning. So our challenge is how to bring all the eight programs together uh, to form a faculty and then have a faculty uh, set of desired learning outcomes. The theme of the 20th anniversary Alumni Homecoming Day was Revisiting 20 Years of Collective Memories. Alumni enjoyed a fabulous afternoon and revisited the good old days together with staff, families, and friends. Many participants dressed in blue or green to match the colors of the university's logo, creating another precious memory for all. In addition, there was wine tasting and the sale of university souvenirs and books. The Alumni Homecoming Day kicked off with the launch of the book Dreams No Longer Far Away on the inspirational stories of 20 graduates. The book, published in Chinese, details the stories of how our students have overcome all kinds of difficulties with courage and determination during their course of study at the OUHK. Since its establishment 20 years ago, the Open University of Hong Kong has always creatively met the needs of students, providing them with flexible studying options and innovative technology support. The OUHK is always planning for the future, believing that a blended teaching and learning mode, incorporating face-to-face -face teaching, conventional distance teaching and learning, and pure online teaching and learning, can offer even greater flexibility and personalization. It may very well become the preferred mode of tertiary education in the future.